mean, we don't play that many shows. I mean, a lot of groups will play, I don't know, they go on tour and they'll play like 200 shows in a year. And um, I could see where after a hundred of them, you know, you kind of show up like, oh, hello. And, you know, but we don't, I mean, we don't play that many shows. So we try as best we can, um, you know, with all of our stuff and, you know, using the audience's own love and energy to make it a like spectacular moment. Yeah. Is it still blown up? Yeah. No, it hurts, but <laughs> yeah. how do, like, does yeah, that, yeah. like, is that, because if I play, like, gave someone a yellow balloon and they kept it forever, <laughs> I'd kind of think that was weird. I'd be like, oh. No, I think that's great. It's that? like these little I mementos of being there. I mean, that's, to me, yes. the, the, the Flaming Lips are as much about that experience you're having. It's not just about, let's go see a you know, group play their yeah. music. It's about being in the audience and feeling that love and that energy and Do you ever feel surrender. Yeah. Do you ever feel like Mr. Cliff? Screw the no, no. Part and then just play no, no, I mean, I love all that. You know, I mean, we, we want to do all that. We're yeah. glad to do all that. I mean, it affects us too, you know? I mean, we're doing things that we like and even though we do them a lot, I'm, you know? It's like, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if you ever have sex, not with each other, but in general. <laughs> I just mean, it's like having sex. You know, you can do it one night, and then the next night, just well, you can good. do it again. It's pretty great. I mean, it's sort of, you know, it, just because you do it a lot doesn't mean that it loses you its, it. its impact, come, you, you know. Who comes up with But I mean, it's mostly, I think, the, the audience's response to it. I think that you can never um, be immune to. I mean, when we start the show and it becomes this big thing and you can... You can tell that people are kind of overwhelmed and they're surrendering and they're that's what we want you know we want it isn't about you know this it isn't about volume and power it's about that surrender that um that allows people to be emotional you know some of our songs are really li fragile little things about about life and death and how we are all going to deal with the meaning of that and you know if we can just obliterate everything that's there that's kind of what we try to do just obliterate everything that's in your mind or whatever, or whatever, and then just let our songs and you have our time that together. That's great. That's the best thing. Because it isn't just that we want to sing them, we want you to listen and react. Can you give us any advice? Because we like you're the first like massive person. Oh, you, you mean you mean to inter? You mean to interview? To interview, yeah. Well, you're the biggest person. Oh, I don't know. I think you're doing the best thing you could do so far. Is just know, just not too bad. talk and be interesting. Yeah. Can you tell I us about your don't have bad breath. Don't uh, don't talk about music too much because that's boring and it is boring. Be well, honest. <laughs> be real. I think that's the best thing. People who make music and make art, a lot of this is done from an, an introspective, introvert yeah. sort of mentality. It's something that you do inside your mind, and it's a personal thing. It's a, you know, it's a, it's this thing that you have to really go inside yourself. And this thing about playing festivals and performing, it's all about being a ridiculous extrovert. Everything you do is with yeah. people and weirdos Make like yourself. Performers. You have to talk yeah. and be honest and be open, and you just don't care what happens. And so you run into this this quagmire of there's that introvert that wants to make the music and think about what it all means and, and then there's the extrovert explore. the extrovert that just has to do it all so i think in time i think i've just embraced whatever is happening 